What's going on? Welcome back to MVP 2005 Cincinnati Reds owner mode. Full disclosure before we get into this episode, um, I guess for whatever reason, I'm an idiot. I did not hit save. So what I had to do was keep simulating the games until I got the correct result. I did everything the same that I did in the last episode. I put Casey and Current on the trade block, and then I made sure I went win, loss, win against the Rockies, and then I made sure I lost the first game against the Cubs, and I won the next three. Also, I changed the pricing right before the Cubs series, like I did in the episode, and then I changed it to the exact same where I changed it after the two games. We dropped down just a little bit. So the attendance numbers might be a little bit different, the bank account might be a little bit different, and everybody's stats might just be a little bit different, but other than that, the win-loss record for us is the same. Can't really say that for everybody else. That one's on me, but... Hopefully over a course of 162 games, doesn't really matter all too much. So looking at the bank account, we are just under $1 million in the bank going to the last home series. I believe I was just over $1 million uh, when I did it originally. So I'm kind of handicapping myself on that one. Getting into the standings, as you can see, we are only three games out of the Cardinals. Um, I believe originally we were four games out. So that kind of helps us there. Um, but we do have the Mets right between us, so we have quite the race going for the wild card to end the season. Going to the Brewer series, as you can see, the game impact for those is only a 6 out of 10. The Cubs series is a 9 out of 10, so we're going to drop the ticket prices just a little bit more. That way we won't scare anybody away with the high ticket prices. So for that, I'm going to bump the lower deck down to... We're selling... We'll, we'll do 50 for those, and then we'll do 25, I believe. I think that'll be a good number for the upper deck tickets. All right, so we got the three-game series at home against the Brewers. Then we go to the West Coast, four-game series against the Dodgers, and then a three-game series to end July into August against the Padres. So we're going to manage the Brewers series, and then I might simulate two, maybe three of the Dodgers series, um, and then I'll simulate two of the three of the Padres series, and we'll manage the rest. All right, game one, Davis versus Clawson. All right, Clawson, let's get this started. We'll lead off double by Lyle Overbay. That's a name I haven't had to say in a long time. All right, get out of that one. Felipe with a single, Casey with a single, Griffey gets out, Austin Kearns gets out. All right, start pushing these guys. Go one, two, three there. Two outs, Clawson. Oh, gets a two out single. You gotta love that. Jimenez, do something. Oh yeah. Bottom of second, two outs. Felipe Lopez at bat. I'm going to let him do his thing. He's going to swing away. And we get a run, but also someone was out. I'm not too sure what exactly happened. And I forgot I was able to do this thanks to whoever said it in the comments. Uh, so what happened was Felipe Lopez single at the left. Willie Moe scored and then Brandon Clawson was out. I can only assume that he was trying to go. He was also trying to score because he was at he was at second base. So I can only assume that he was thrown at home. Wow. Very aggressive, sending the pitcher. Uh, there we go. All right. Sean Casey leads off with a single. Kearns, Willie. Nothing doing right after that. Double play to the inning. To the bottom of the fourth. All right, Colossi, you got a single. Get another one. And he grounds into a double play. Should, probably should have did a hit run. That one's on me. Lead off walk. It's a field of choice, then an out. Base open. Walks him. <laughs> Let's pitch him. Oh, and a two RBI single. Brewers take the lead in the top of the fifth inning. Jimenez with a single. Felipe gets him over to second base, but is out. Sean Casey out, but gets him over to third. Two outs. Big spot here, Ken. Can't get it done. To the top of the six we go. Double there. We're able to get out of that one, though. All right, Kearns, lead us off here. It's on with a single. Get him over. Brew. Base is loaded. Brandon Clawson is up. Um, you know what? He gave us six good innings. I think we're going to go ahead and pinch hit for him. I am just now realizing, once again, my apologies for not hitting the save button. That catcher we brought up, I'm going to have to bring him up after this game. Valentin's still here. So to stay real with it, I'm not going to use Valentin here. We're going to bring in Ryan Friel. All right, Friel, bottom six. And I'm going to go ahead and hit with him. All right, Friel, me and you, buddy, let's do this. 
This guy has a terrible time against left-handed pitching. Oh, the swing and bunt again. We did that before. The runner is forced out at home. Oh, Safe they're not the able play. to get the double play, though. It didn't work out like it did that one game. Oh, me and Ryan Freo, we love the swing and bunt. All right, top of the lineup. Next Jimenez. Oh, it's so miss. slow. 84 mile an hour. Four seamer. Holy crap. Ground Get through. That's a fair ball. Side. That's a fair ball. I'm sending him home. I'm sending him in. home. That's a two RBI One single, baby. Jimenez. Two. Let's go. Ooh. I was a little early on that change, up, but we kept it fair. Look at this. Sneak right, right by. On the base hit. I mean, that angle, how does it stay fair? Up next, That's the bay one for one. This guy's got Let's make it two for two. Speed. He puts a lot of pressure on the infield when he puts oh, that, the ball in. Oh, play. that was hit so hard. That's the third out, stranding runners That was good timing by second. me, though. That was really good timing. Three All right, we got a lead. We got a lead. Uh, so the into the seventh inning. That actually looks like David Weathers uh, brought down his ERA. In those simulated games, bring in Jose. Back in the manager sim, and I do just want to show, I know I, I think I had a comment on maybe the last episode or the one before. Uh, as long as I don't pitch with him, when I put him in the game, it shows he has low stamina when I'm leaving the game. But when I get into the manager sim, as you can see, full stamina, that means Jose, you're ready to do this. Oh, immediately gets into a big jam and immediately Gives up the lead to the bottom of the seventh we go. Oh, I trusted you. But don't worry, Austin Kearns increasing his value hits a go-ahead two-run home run in the bottom of the seventh inning with a one out. Willie Moe can't follow up, neither can Joe. To the top of the eighth we go with that lead. Jose was looking to get that win, I think. He did it on purpose. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in Weber. The best setup man in the league. LaRue, leadoff single. Pinch hit. We'll do Almedo. Swing away. A little single there. Oh, an RBI single by Jimenez into the bottom of the eighth inning. We are now up by two runs. Felipe, swing away. He's out. Sean, out. Ken, walks. Base is loaded. Come on, you already hit that home run earlier. Take the lead. Let's blow the doors open. Not able to get it done, but we are able to get one extra run. Give a little bit more cushion for our board, Danny. He goes one, not two. But gets the double play, faces the minimum. Reds win six to four on 13 hits. And Jose moves to three and oh. All right, we're on a bit of a tear. Four games in a row. Let's see if we can keep it going. But first, we got to make the move. Uh, Fuentes still killing it. 434. He's crushing it. So it's time to send down Valentin. Sorry, buddy, but it is Fuentes' time. All right, game two, bong on the bump for us. And look at the lineup. Felipe is down to 65, so we're going to take him out. Almeida's going to come in. I think that should be good. Everyone else looks pretty good. All right, bong. Sub three here, all right? Let's do this. And let's get it started. Oh, he's looking to go one, two, three, and then gives up the solo shot. But... I think he ended up striking out the side with the home run mixed in. And we're immediately three straight walks to the bottom of the first. Kangaroo Jr., no outs. I'm hopping in because I want to swing. All right, Griffey. Can't tell you the last time I played in the first inning. This arsenal consists of a decent four seam heater, a changeup. Oh. And he gives up. I know it was a ball, but man, those high pitches just look so good to pass up, man. They're tough to pass up, even when you know. Oh, and now we're doing this. The infield fly rule is called by the umpire. I thought for sure. Pena comes to the play. Oh, Mo. And I don't swing at that. One. <laughs> this guy has four oh, pitches to choose man. From. Right down the middle, man. Foul straight back. Now we're fouling him off. We got a battle here. Two strikes. And the delivery. Right, good right, morning, right. good afternoon, and good night. Three straight pitches. After one I can't do anything. After three straight walks, I'm swinging Jenkins. at early pitches for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get out of here. Bong, that one's on me. 
So, oh, another solo shot. Oh, and they're, they're getting a few runs here. Oh, we're able to get him. Thank God he did not hit another home run. <laughs> that could have been bad. Suck bunt. Swing away. Nothing. Damn. Oh, man. I am just not. Bong is just not doing it this time. I need him to go at least five, though, man. I need him at least going five. Done. Really? Joe? Grounds into double play. All right, Bong. Can you get me through this inning? Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, LaRue can't do anything, um, but we're going to bring in Baco to pinch hit. Swing away out Jimenez. Two out double. And an RBI single by Almedo. Able to get one back. Come on, Sean. Tied up. So close. Two outs. Kankovic Jr. Two runners in scoring position. Could be a tie ball game. I want to make up for my first inning. So I'm going to hop in and we're going to do this thing. Now okay. Daddy, for two. One of them is my fault. Oh, that he ball smoked. To center. That ball smoked. Oh, my catch. God. Hey, partner, you got to be kidding me, man. For a while. And it hasn't exactly oh, been he a had to go so far for that. We are in the sixth inning. Bring in Merker. All right. Merker, let's see if you could do a little bit better. I mean, Bong only gave up three runs, but... Oh, we were just... We were just getting hitting around today. No, no two ways around it. Just one of those games. It's not working. Merker, you're done. Pinch hits. I'll do Freel. Swing away. He walks. Jimenez. Bases loaded. I'm going to let you guys take care of this one. Not able to get it done. To the seventh inning we go. We're down. Uh, apparently, Weathers is pitching much better. So, we're going to go ahead and bring him in. He's up a single. Big jam there, but... Brewers aren't able to score, but we we go immediately one two three. Mothers faces the minimum in the top of the eighth inning, getting that double play. Nothing doing there. I'm gonna give you one base runner, and there it is. So we're gonna bring in Valentine. Oh, base open. Able to get out of that one. Brew with a walk. We'll pinch hit. Bring in Kearns. Let's do this. Swing away. He walks. Jimenez. Please. An RBI single for Jimenez. Still no outs. Almeido. Just don't ground him in double play. Doesn't ground him in double play. Sean Casey. Two runners on. They walk him. Ken Curvy Jr. Base is loaded. One out. I'm definitely hopping in. I have have to make up for it. All right, Griff, hope for four. You can't go for five, man. Ooh, that cutter at 94. Good eye, though. Oh, that ball smoked. Oh, we're, we're sending him from second. We're sending him from second. They're not even going to make the throw. The time run score. A tie ball game, baby. Henry Let's go. Send it right play. back where it came from, right up the middle. Griffey, a two RBI single in the bottom of the ninth inning, tied up. Oh, Jimenez was scooting. Oh, I'm glad I made up for it. All right, done. Oh, weak liner. The Brewers have two it's nice and up and in, too. It was just a little late on it. Willie yeah. Moe, Willie Moe. He's having a pretty good game. Looks like the mound is. It may have been good for that pitcher's psyche. There we go. See if it pumps him up. Embry with the 1-0 delivery. Nope. Check down at first. No, I did not. He started to swing, but he didn't go through the zone. There we go. 2-0 count, baby. Hitters. Hitters count. Oh, that ball smoked. He hits the pitch to right. Oh, oh my get there. God. Just short of the warning track, but we tie it up. Of an uppercut we tie it up. The fielder was able to corral for the out. Man, that felt good, though. The extra After as we nine. go. So the tie ball game, go Wagner. All right, Wagner against the notorious Reds killer, Ricky Weeks. Immediately gets on with the single. Pitcher's up. We're leaving him in. 
but he's able to get to third base on a ground out to the pitcher. We got bases open. Now we don't. Oh, Wagner. Big pitch right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get out of the bases loaded jam. We had one out. Able to get him. To the bottom of the tenth, we go. Joe Randa. Not able to get on. LaRue. We're going to pinch hits. Felipe, you're coming in to hit. He gets on with a single. But Jimenez can't do anything in the bottom of the 10th. To the 11th, we go. Uh, I'm running out of pitchers. Jose, I might need you just to go to the end of the game. Which immediately gives up a run. A grand slam, Jose. I mean, I, I'm just going to kind of click this one through. We lose 9-4 to four in 11 innings. Acevedo's first loss of the year, and he did it in grand fashion. <laughs> All right, so the four-game win streak ends there, but let's see if we can still take the series. Sunday day game at home against the Brewers. Got Paul Wilson on the bump. Oprah Mueller going for the Brewers. And we are going to actually go ahead and give LaRue a break and get Fuentes his first start. Um, look at everybody else. Um, Willie Mills at 79. Go ahead and bring in Kearns. Do Friel. Miranda. It's Sunday. Let's give some give some guys some breaks. KC is 81. Screw it. Give everybody a break. High energy. We can give Almeida the start at second base. So everyone's in the 90s or at 100. So let's see if that works to our advantage. All right, Paul, let's get it started. Okay. A leadoff home run to start the game and then a double. Let's do some pitch rounds, shall we? All right, Paul, you put us in a hole. And we go one, two, three. I know I probably should have mixed up the lineup with uh, putting those guys in there, but it's Sunday. Everybody's getting a break. Fuentes, first career at bat. He strikes out. Lyle, nope. Not going to let you do anything. Ball can't get it started. Almedo, Lopez. It go nothing. All right. Well, I mean, Paul's settling in and Ken Kirby Jr. solo shot. The bottom of the fourth inning to lead it off. Gets us back. Two to one. Done. Immediately wiped away, and there it is. To the fifth inning we go. And Paul Wilson is struggling mightily. He's able to do five. That's going to be it. Bringing Casey to pinch it. Swing away. He gets out. Almeida ends the inning. Two murder again. Man, I'll tell you what. We are not pitching well. To the seventh, and we go one, two, three. Man, our bats have just gone to sleep. First two runners on, we're gonna go ahead and take them out. Now, pitcher's up, it's a relief pitcher. Pitch to him, and then we're gonna go ahead and sub the pitcher. Valentin, this is kind of a wash game, so let's see if we can bring down that ERA. Technically, it's not your ERA, but it's about to be three run shot. Makes it 11-1. I just hit with him. I didn't mean to. I'm frustrated. Oh, we can't get anything there. Valentin, please just go. Thank you. Oh, man. Ten runs we need to make up in the bottom of the ninth inning. We're kind of getting it. We got one. Went to us. Nothing. Valentin, you're definitely not hitting this time. Let's see. Willie Mo. Get in there. Swing away. He walks. Oh, we get a couple there. A walk there. Baco. Can't do anything. King Kirby Jr. It's a walk. Adam Dunn. Ends the game. We fight back just a little bit in the bottom of the ninth. Get four there. But a rough game. Starting pitching just was not doing it this whole series, to be honest. So we're going to lose the series. Paul Wilson falls to six and eight. So after winning four in a row, we dropped two in a row. Now we got to go to the West Coast. We're going to simulate the first three games of the Dodgers series. And we are going to manage the Thursday night finale. Looking at the inbox, uh, Adam Dunn is not happy about playing time. You play every day. I don't know why you're so upset. We dropped the first one, won the second one, but we lost the third game. 
So let's see if we can split the series going into the weekend against the Padres in San Diego. Bong versus Ishii in Los Angeles. Let's do this. All right, lineup looks pretty good. All right, Jimenez, let's start it off with a leadoff single. You love to see it. Oh, we're going back to back singles right there. Oh, actually, Felipe walked, so. Casey can't do anything. Griffey can't do anything. Kearns walks. Base is loaded. Willie Mo ends the inning. We got base loaded. Not able to do anything. Oh, man. We're sending James by Bong. That's his forte. Ready, Bong? Let's uh, do a little sack bunt, get Randall over. All right, Jimenez. Give me a single. Score run. He gives me the single. <laughs> Randa can't score. Uh, let's be aggressive here, and we're going to actually steal second. And he's thrown out. Oh, I thought it was between that and a hit run, but I'd rather be ultra aggressive. Didn't work out, but Felipe leads off with a single. Sean Casey, another single. Felipe to third base. Griffey. Austin Kearns, bases loaded. Top of the third inning. Dodger Stadium. I want to check it out. Let's hop in. Kearns <clears throat> steps up to the plate. All right, Kearnsy. Beautiful Dodger Stadium. Oh. Lifts one to left. I'm scoring from third. I'm tagging up. I'm tagging up. He closes his glove on it for the out. Able to get the RBI. Sack fly, Kearns. The game with that run. Coming to the plate, Willie Mo Pena. All righty, Willie Mo. One out. Let's do something. There's this a close pitch called the ball. Funky delivery. He strikes out about business. Going to come inside. Check Watch. Out the field. 3-0 count. That slider had no tilt to it whatsoever. 3-0 count. He needs to break a See if he tries a backdoor slider, slider again. 3-1 one. One one count. Strike. Oh, you make a mistake like we'll that. The hitter's got to take advantage There's of that. There's a 3-0 count. Oh, why did I swing at the slider? I was just so mad about what he was saying. You got to take advantage on 3-0 count. Good eye. Great eye. All right, Randa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I know you're excited. Let's calm down. Oh. Get foul. Go, go. That was not an easy catch at all, big boy. Great defense. All right, Jason. Help me out here. LaRue nope. gets a ground ball out to second. That's the third out. With uh, the bases but we get juice. one. We get one. And I took a walk. So I don't. That's that's more of a win than anything. All right, Bong. We gave you the lead. Got the pitcher up. Get him out. Oh. There we go. All right, Bong. Now you're leading off the inning. Let's do something. Maybe not. We go one, two, three. Ooh, a little double play at the end of the inning. Sean, lead off with. A walk, and then Austin Kearns scores his fellow trade block member on a two-run home run. Reds up, it's three nothing. Let's see if uh, Bong can kind of settle in here. He's got he's given up seven hits, but he also has seven strikeouts so far. Uh, I think you can go right. Second one. There we go. Swing away. Ugh. I thought about a hit and run. I thought about it. There we go. One, two, three. Joe Randa, a RBI double. Four nothing. All right, Bong. Uh, your stamina is pretty low. Um, let's see if we can get through the seventh inning. If you get too big of a jam. Way to get out of that bong. Perfect. You're leading off that inning. We're going to pinch hit for you. Thank you for your service. Ryan for real. Let's get in there. Swing away. There we go. Oh, we got something going. And then Sean Casey rounds out into a double play. Ends the inning. But to the eighth inning we go. Weber, let's do your thing. One, two, three. Love to see it. Kearns. Wipes away Griffey on the base pass. Two outs. And Willie Moe strikes out the end of the inning. All right. Uh, even though it's not technically a save situation, I do want to get Danny some work because apparently he needed it. 
Gives up the leadoff double, then goes one, two, three. We're able to split the series, taking game four, four to nothing on a strong, long performance. Three games against the Padres. We'll simulate the first two, and then we will play the Sunday finale. All right, we win the first game, but we drop the second game against the Padres. So we will look to take the series against them on Sunday, but it is actually the trade deadline. So we're going to get in Sean Casey and Austin Kearns need to be moved. Let's see if we can move them. So I wonder if we can get a very young Zach Greinke. Uh, his overall is slightly lower than Sean Casey's. So we're actually going to try a Greinke Casey straight up and see if it works out. Low contract for Greinke. Let's see if they take it. The trade has been rejected. I thought that was going to happen. So you know what we're going to do. We're actually going to throw in Brandon Clausen, make the trade. The trade has been accepted. Zach Greinke is officially a Cincinnati Red. Sean Casey is off the books. Baco, it's your time, baby. All right, so now we are down a first baseman. So we are going to look into AAA and our AAA first baseman, Alvarez, is batting 299 so far. Um, his overall is not bad. Let's take this info. He's only 23 years old. Um, right-handed bat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call him up, see if he can hack it at the major league level. All right, so with him moving up, we're going to actually move uh, Moeller, who is batting 347 in double A. We will move him to the triple A roster, and I think that should be fine as far as that goes. All right, so with that going, uh, Granky officially becomes our best overall pitcher. Um, so we're still going to be looking to move Austin Kearns. I think it'd be worth it um, just with Griffey's age to try to find a solid center fielder. My goal is to get some youth I'm trying to build for a longer future this time around and it might just be a quick trip up north uh coco crisp who is only 25 at this point i think he would be a great fit for the reds so we're gonna try a kearns coco straight up if that doesn't work i think maybe tossing in one of our relievers might do the trick similar contracts similar age Let's see if they take it trade was rejected all right so with that we're actually gonna throw in David Weathers and see if it pans out. Make trade. Trade has been rejected. All right, so I was looking around and I dropped it down um, to see some minor league players. I just wanted to see who had a top uh, center fielder and the Angels at their AAA team has this Hazlitt guy. So looking at him, he's only 22 years old. Um, he's about 295 in AAA right now. Uh, he's a switch hitter. Um, his attributes are kind of low right now. He's pretty good. Decent contact against right-handed pitching. Can't hit lefties, um, but he is a switch hitter, so that should only get better with time. His stealing aggressiveness is a 95. Speedy little guy. He's 80 fielding already, um, but looking at his scouting report, this guy has the makings of an all-star outfielder at some point in his career. He will has all the potential to become a fantastic hitter and challenge some batting titles in his career. So I think if we're able to pull off a Hazlitt current trade straight up, that might be the ticket. We're going for it. Trade has been accepted. Kearns is out. Willie Moe is the future, and so is Hazlitt once Griffey retires. So we're getting nifty out here. I for some reason I didn't check I didn't check other teams trade blocks. I went ahead and did this to see if it would work. Uh, so basically uh, I flipped Hazlitt for this other center fielder who's actually a year younger and has a lot better stats, has the same scouting report, but he's from the Blue Jays. So Brassard is now the official future of the San Resin center field. We're making moves. We're flipping players. This guy didn't even, we didn't even make him a jersey. We didn't even announce the signing. We traded him. I'm doing serious GM work over here. And he is, I mean, he's already up here. He's like one of the best players. I went down, Hazlitt was between Bong and Weber. So this guy who's a year younger and is already better overall, he's up here and he was on their trade block. So we made it work. And I think I'm not too sure that we would have pulled off a Kearns. I don't, people say that this is broken. So I don't even know if a Kearns uh, Brasser trade would work, but this worked. We got this guy. He looks like a stud. Looking at him, he is an all-star in the making. Same same scouting report, but if you look, better speed, same fielding. Um, his hitting is a little bit better. His contact and power versus right-handed pitching is much better. 
He is only a right-handed batter. He's not a switch hitter, um, but he's a year younger. So I think this is going to work out for us. But now looking at our pitching rotation, Zach Granke is in there. Clawson is gone. I actually looked. Someone put Clawson on their AAA roster for Kansas City. I think that's who we traded him to. So he's on a AAA roster. Our pitching just got a whole lot better. Man, he is 3-10 and 10 with a 6 RA this year, but he's going to be pretty good for us. He's still young, but he should develop. Hopefully it's not like what actually happened to Granky, where he had to leave baseball and come back. Um, but we went from the ninth best hitting team, apparently, to the 30th best hitting team. Uh, our team kind of stinks now, but I think it's best for the future. Um, we we're able to get value out of the guys that we're going to be leaving at the end of the year. All right, so at the deadline, let's see this new team. Let's get in there. Day game against the San Diego Padres. Ortiz on the bump for us. May up for them. All right, looking at our brand new lineup. So this will be the left-handed pitcher, no DH. So Dunn is out. Raster is batting fifth. Uh, Felipe is a day off, so I'll bring out Mado. Griffey, actually we'll put, let's see what what's Dunn at. If Dunn is feeling okay, so Dunn up and bat. He's not going to play center, though. We'll have Dunn play left, Willie right, and Brasser will play center. That works. We have a lot more flexibility in the outfield. I like. I like that. So let's get into it. All right, Ortiz. Let's keep it going. All right, Jimenez. Even after the trade deadline, Jimenez, you get it started. Nothing there. Dunn with the same. Willie Mo. All right, Brasser. This is your first at bat with the Reds. What are you going to do? You're uh, in the inning. That's okay. We're going to need you later on this year. Baco, out, Randa, out, through, out. Ortiz gets him to ground into a double play in the inning, but can't get on himself. We go one, two, three. It's open. No base open. Gets out of the base, slow to jam. Done. Nope. Pena. Brassard. No. Echo Randa LaRue. A solo shot. Top of the fifth inning. We're on the board. Someone's on the board. One nothing. Reds. Ortiz strikes out. The inning. Gets up a hit to the pitcher. But nothing doing for them. The menace leads off with a single. A walk. Done. An RBI single, Willie Mo Pena. What are you going to do? You're going to ground him a double play. Two outs. Top of the six. Brassard, can you get that run across? No, you cannot. Ooh, double play the inning. Baco with a single. Randa with a single. All right, LaRue. Gets out. Uh, sack bunt. Not able to get him over. Jimenez. We were knocking on the door, but they wouldn't let us in. Oh, they get one back, but that's it. I was hoping he could go through seven. He does. Uh, I'll give you one base runner. Do so you have a little bit of stamina left? And you go one, two, three for me. All right, top of the ninth inning. Brassard, I want to see this ballpark, and I want to hit. I want to get this guy's first hit as a red. So let's get in there. All right, Brassard, we're in number ten, which it's the he... last inning, and it's still anybody's ball game. Ooh, he's registered That's three wins. And four this guy's lucky. He's pushed over stance that I trade for. Oh, get through. The there we go, Brassard. A, a single. In the ninth inning. The first and third base. All right, Baco, number 88. Lines. I love that he wears that big number. One on and nobody out. Oh, they try to pitch out. Oh yeah, he's fast. As shit. Okay, either you can steal back or you can't. This guy can, and I hope we get a chance to see this guy try and go for it. I don't know how to steal yeah, bases no though baseball, without like. Boy. You can't hit the ball without swinging. He's breaking for second. Oh, I try to hit and run. Oh, that landed. Oh no! They get the out. I don't know how to go halfway. Oh, and, and he went because play. I hit the button. Oh, Kai, you cannot leave the runner hung out to dry like that. That's gonna cost. Oh, that the base running blunders. It wouldn't be a. Uh, it wouldn't be a. Rain time video 
There weren't some ball. base running Double winners. Ball, one ball oh, and no man, I hope that doesn't kill us. I can't believe that landed. I thought for sure. Gathers it in with his glove. He's gonna catch. That'll do it as we go to the bottom of the inning. Going into the oh, bottom. Oh, all right, Danny. Ortiz, you gave us eight strong. Let's get you the dub. I said, let's get you the dub. The dub. Base open, two outs. And Danny gets out of that jam. We win. We take the series two to one on a two to one Sunday game. Ortiz to seven and four. Danny Graves, 30 saves on the season. All right, now that the road trip is over, let's take a look at the standings. Um, we are falling out of the central race eight games back now. Um, looks like the Cubs got kind of hot uh, at the end of the month. But as you can see in the wild card, the Mets actually overtook the Cardinals. They're a half game up on them, and we're still three games out of the wild card race. So we're very much in the playoff hunt. Um, just not might not be for the division this time, but as long as we can get in, we can make something happen. And as you can see, even after a road trip, we're still in the black. Well, in this case, the green. We are at over, a little over half a million dollars in the bank. Getting rid of those big contracts helps. And you can see our fan happiness has gone up a little bit more. And I haven't shown this yet. I started off as a C- minus to start this year for my owner rating. And as you can see, I have moved up. I am a A-. minus. So that's going to do it for this episode. We made it to the trade deadline. We made a lot of moves. It'll be interesting to see what happens in August. We'll see about calling up some uh, AAA guys. Who knows? Maybe Edwin Encarnacion, quote unquote, whatever is, I think it's Matt James, might make an appearance at some point this year. But we're making moves, guys. We're building for the future. I think we have a good team that can make some noise. Actually, if we can make the playoffs this year, I consider that a huge win. But I think our real future is next year and beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching that go reds i'll see you next time